everyone, it is 10.04 on April 19th. Uh, my name is John Martin, Chairman of the County Development Committee, and I now call that meeting to order. Uh, Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll? Brown. Brown is here. Herman is here. Ford. Ford present. Iqbal. Iqbal present. Kenyon. Kenyon here. Wonicki. Present. Roz. That's here. Caius. Caius present. Kirog. Shepro. Martin. And I'm present. You have a quorum. Thank you. Um, the minutes for March 15th, we're going to defer for 30 days. And the financial report is uh, part of your packet. Do we have any public comment? We have none recorded. Anyone present who wants to speak? Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Nico Moneris. Okay, we're going to be in. Mr. Martin, he is on for item C under subdivision, so he may okay. wish to speak at that time. Okay, I was going to offer that presumption too. I think that we'll just defer. Okay, um, may we please, Mr. Van Kirkhoff, have the building and zoning report. Good morning, uh, Mark Van Kirkhoff, Director of Development and Community Services. This may be the shortest um, part of the development committee agenda in my career. <laughs> Um, we just have uh, staff reports this morning. We don't have any zoning petitions. So wow. um, for uh, a building and zoning report, uh, we are seeing increase in activity in uh, building permits, which is good. Uh, we do hear um, rumblings about the uh, issues with the supply chain and getting materials in a timely manner, particularly uh, windows, those kind of things. Um, if you've been in the Mill Creek Village Center lately, you'll see the newest building there is uh, framed up and we'll be uh, busy now with uh, uh, doing inspections to keep that project moving along in the village center. Um, we are of course involved in enforcement activities as well. Our code enforcement uh, building inspector staff person is doing a, a wonderful job uh, for us and, and uh, keeping on top of the uh, increase uh, in uh, uh, calls that we get because of the weather. and. Uh, Unless there's any questions, um, we can uh, move on to. Well, we don't have any zoning petitions. I'm just, but I'll uh, just ask if you have any questions. I'm just I'm just hoping that it wasn't your chairman's uh, performance at the last board meeting that made you not submit any zoning petitions this time. <laughs> no, we just we just had a little bit of a pause. We've got more coming down the pike, okay. so All right. just a little blip. And may we have the planning and special projects report. Okay, and that, that is in your packet. Those are the activities of our planning team. Uh, we report to this committee, but most of these activities get reported to uh, other committees. So just ask you to put that on file, but happy to answer any questions. Are there any questions or comments? Hearing none, we will now move to <laughs> subdivisions. Would you please proceed, ma'am? <laughs> Uh, first on the agenda for you to review this after this morning is the Fuentes Ponds edition. <clears throat> oh. This is a minor subdivision. It's two lots. It's located on the easterly edge of uh, South Elgin. <clears throat> there you can see we're off of Gilbert Street and Route 25. Um, I'd call your attention to the various creeks and rivers that are running through this area as this becomes important as we move through this particular project. The parcel itself, um, you can identify the ponds that are on the site. There is one existing single family residence. It's the desire of the owner to subdivide this parcel and created an additional parcel for his son to uh, 
construct his own residence. This is the overall subdivision plat and zooming in a little closer, you can see how all this area shaded in red is going to be dedicated for uh, drainage detention and conservation. Uh, the existing single family residence will be located on lot one up here. The remainder of lot two will house the, sec the new and proposed residence. Kane County staff finds that this is in compliance with all of our ordinances. Uh, all fees have been paid with the exception of land cash, which will be due at the time of the plat officer signing it. In the audience this afternoon or this morning is Ms. Kathy Hurlbut, who is the representative for the owner, should you have questions. Do we have any questions? I have one question. Just um, the, uh, the uh, lot that is the one point, what is it, 04 acres, that's in, is that the existing home? Yes. And the, uh, that area would accommodate the septic in future expansion? <laughs> I mean, just normally we do one and a half acres as a minimum. So I'm just curious about that. Yeah, the, on, the arc, on the subdivision plat, the septic is located right here. It so looks, it will be contained within its own lot. It looks like there's room for expansion there. So that should be fine. Thanks. May we have a motion, please? Fraz moves. Mr. Fraz moves. Mr. Kenyon seconds. Do we have further <laughs> questions or comments? Mr. Kaya. Just so I can locate my, so the, the, the lot, it says lot, that's lot going to be lot number two on the lower left there, southwest. Oops. Lot one's up there. Correct. Lot one would be this area, mm -hmm. and the remainder of the parcel is considered lot two. Now within lot two, all of this area of red will be dedicated for conservation. And the house will go where? The house, well, anywhere within this area here. Okay, so yeah. And, and just for my orange, I drive by it every day, but I'm usually <laughs> trying to dodge cars right through there because that's a lot of <laughs> swerving just south there on 25. But uh, what's in that southeast corner there with the trails and things? I should know what that is. When you go back to the, be off to the south, not in this part, but south of the plot. I don't have any, just a orientation question. Not in, yeah, down see the trail in the lower left, lower right? Those are actually trails that are over off of uh, Route 25, 25. Yeah. that encroach in this area. So, so when you oh, say... When you say dedicated for, uh, in, what is that, open space? Would that be private open space, I assume? They're remaining? The conservation That's easement will be maintained and owned by the owner. By the owner. Okay. Not to be developed on, I assume. Correct. That, Correct. Because so, it's important to that watershed. Correct. Anything else? Please call the roll. <laughs> Berman? Berman, yes. Brown? Brown, yes. Ford? Ford, yes. Iqbal? Iqbal, yes. Kenyon? Yes. Bonigi? Yes. Fraz? Fraz, yes. Caius? Caius, yes. Martin? Martin, yes. Yes. Motion carries. Heritage West. Thank you. Uh, we're back down in the south end of the county at this point in time. This is over off of Orchard and Randall Road. There's a subdivision down there, Heritage West, Unit 1 and Unit 2. Uh, there's a single family residence that's within the, in the development there. And this particular owner wishes to construct a garage on his parcel. But having, looking at the recorded subdivision plat, he noted that his side yard setback over here is 70 feet. Um, and he wishes to put his new garage in this area. So he's asking for relief from that side yard setback to be reduced down to 30 feet instead of the current platted 70 feet. Um, you can see it here on the subdivision plat. <clears throat> um, <laughs> the 30 feet or I'm sorry, the 70 feet, existing 70 foot building line across the street, it's a hundred foot building line. Uh, it's unclear why the side yard setbacks were so large other than to try and, and restrict any building within a small envelope on these 
larger estate lots. The amendment will not increase any density or reduce any open space. It's agreed to by all the neighbors and the joint and the jurisdictional entities, and this has the support of staff. Any, may we have a motion, please? Monique moves. Fry Fry second. Moves. Mr. Fry seconds. Do we have comments or questions? Um, this is in my district, and uh, e even if the property to the north is developed, they're still going to have really big uh, side yards. So I completely support it. Anything else? That's my district. <laughs> uh, th that little section is mine. You, you two can resolve your you can resolve your feud uh, after the meeting. After December, will be yours. <laughs> Anything else? Hearing none. Clerk, please call the roll. Herman. Herman, yes. Brown. Brown, yes. Ford. Ford, yes. Iqbal. Iqbal, yes. Kenyon. Yes. Monique. Yes. Braz. Braz, yes. Bias. Bias, yes. Martin. Yes. Yes. Motion carries. Dear Pond Woods. Pond Woods, this has become a familiar stopping uh, point for us the last several weeks or months here. We're at lots 24, 25, and 26 in this particular instance. Uh, the parcels are over here off of Randall and just south of Redgate Road in Deer Pond Woods subdivision. This is the aerial of the site. It's 24, 25, and 26. In general, the, there's an owner of lot 24, there's an owner of lot 26, and they wish to split lot 25 and each acquire half of that parcel, um, thereby decreasing density for the overall site plan. This, in order to accomplish this, they need to vacate easements along those existing lot lines, and they will rededicate new utility and drainage easements along the new lot line. When they're completed, the lot will be split in half approximately um, per this diagram in which the shaded part here will go to the lot 24 and the open area here will be part of lot 26. This amendment has the support of staff. Uh, the neighbors have been advised and I received no comments. Uh, Mr. Mike, Marneris, the attorney for the owners, is on the phone if you have any questions of him. Let's, let's entertain a motion here first. Caius Mr. Move. Caius moves. Mr. Ford seconds. Do we have comments or questions? Uh, just a quick question. Ricky. So the pond, the one pond will be sort of split in half between no, the no. two parcels? Uh, each Actually, each Portions. parcel will have a the have a new pond. line will come somewhere oh. down the middle of this here. Oh, okay. So each of the new own, each of the owners will have their own individual pond, and those easements uh, that house those ponds, those will remain in place. Okay. As well as conservation easements that are along the back line. Any other questions or comments, Mr. Marneris? I'm going to assume you were just here to answer questions, unless you want to speak now. No, that's correct. Just here for questions. Thank you. Uh, no further comments. Clerk, please call the roll. <clears throat> Berman. Berman, yes. Brown. Brown, yes. Ford. Ford, yes. Iqbal. Iqbal, yes. Kenyon. Yes. Monique. Yes. Roz. Roz, yes. Caius. Caius, yes. Martin. Martin, yes. Carries. Motion carries. Mill Creek. Back up in Mill Creek this afternoon, we're uh, looking at pool adjustments. As you'll recall, this is a PUD in which the pool setbacks are 20 feet for the rear yard and the decking around the pool has a setback of 10 feet. We're over here in neighborhood J, lot 16. Here's a little bit of a closer aerial of the parcel. You can see that it backs up to the golf course. This is actually the plan for the proposed pool uh, with this is the overall site. Here's the front of the, the residence and the pool, obviously, in the backyard. A little blow up on the side over here indicates that the pool will be, they are requesting that be reduced to 10 feet from the rear yard and the decking be decreased to five feet so that they can accommodate their pool. Uh, technical staff finds this is in compliance. All, not all jurisdictions and neighbors have been notified. We had no comments. And we ask for approval from the board. May we please have a motion? Fraz moves. Fraz moves. 
A second, please. Mr. Kenyon, second. seconds. Comments or questions, Mr. Um, Fries? Yes, yeah, since this backs up to open space and there's no rear neighbor, um, this really doesn't have, uh, and the neighbors have all been notified and, and didn't express any concerns, I would support it. Thank you. Anything else, Mr. Cayos? Yeah, the, on the slide that says minor adjustments, th that's the orientation's 90 degrees different, right? Is that why? Correct, I, correct. Tough time forgetting. So let's sit then to the east of the house. Yeah, the, they can collect more golf balls that way, I think, <laughs> probably in the backyard. Yeah. Oh. Anything else? Is that a safety issue? Uh, <laughs> oh. Sorry. Money making, you can sell the balls back. <laughs> Golfers 10 feet doesn't make any difference. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? No further comments. Clerk, please call the roll. Berman? Berman, yes. Brown? Brown, oh, yes. Ford? Ford, yes. Iqbal? Iqbal, yes. Kenyon? Yes. Wonicki? Yes. Roz? Roz, yes. Caius? Floating golf balls, yes. Martin? Martin, yes. Carries. Motion carries. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Environmental resources, do we have a report or any issues? Nothing this month for environmental and water resources. Okay. Mr. Berger. Uh, good morning, Chairman Martin. We have two items for you today. Uh, the first item involves uh, reaffirming our commitment with the city of Elgin to participate in the HOME program. Uh, this provides uh, federal funding to address affordable housing needs in our area. And at this time, we're recommending you approve this resolution uh, that covers federal fiscal years 2023 through 2025 along with an automatic renewal provision that will ensure that we can continue to participate in the program beyond 2025. Be happy to answer any questions. May we have a motion, please? Caius move. Caius moves, Mr. Ford seconds. Do we have questions or comments? These are great programs. I think it's good we support them. Hearing none, clerk, please call the roll. Berman. Berman, yes. Brown. Yes. Ford? Ford, yes. Iqbal? Iqbal, yes. Kenyon? Yes. Wonicki? Yes. Roz? Roz, yes. Caius? Caius, yes. Martin? Martin, yes. yes. Motion carries. The next resolution, please, Mr. Berger. Yes, we have a, largely a housekeeping resolution for you uh, on the second item uh, regarding adoption of a 2022 budget adjustment for the Emergency Rental Assistance Program and also authorization to amend our agreement with the, in, the Illinois Housing Development Authority, uh, which is assisting us in implementing this program. Uh, the amount you see of $285,503 represents the, the last remaining funds of this allocation, which we receive from the US Treasury under the Consolidated Appropriations Act of 2021. Be happy to answer any questions. Thank you. Motion, please. Ford. Mr. Ford moves. Mr. Kenyon seconds. Do we have comments or questions? Accepting money is never a controversial <laughs> point. Boy, you ran this stuff through this ad. Well, some committees just take a lot of time. <laughs> so All that experience paid off. May we have a vote, please? Berman? Berman, yes. Brown? Brown, yes. Ford? Ford, yes. Iqbal? Iqbal, yes. Kenyon? Yes. Wonicki? Yes. Roz? Roz, yes. Caius? Caius, yes. Martin? Yes. Carried. Resolutions approved. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. Do we have any new business that anyone would like to bring forward? May I have most, there being none, may I have a motion to place reports on file? Caius move. Mr. Caius move. Caius second. Ford seconds. I don't have to turn my head. If I <laughs> this uh, comments or questions? Hearing none, clerk, Coping please. Coping, no business. Coping. Was there somebody with a? Coping. Mr. Copy. Coping, no business. Uh, am I recognized? Isn't that what? Wait, the 27th? Hello. Hello. Hello, Mr. Copy. Yes, sir. Uh, Did you, am I recognized? have a comment? I do. Okay. Uh, this is regarding the reports being on file. Uh, why? Regarding new business. 
Okay, we'll go back to new business. Well, let's let's vote. Let's vote on the reports first because we have a motion and a second. And then, Tom, I'll go back to your new business point. Berman. Berman, yes. Brown. Brown, yes. Ford. Ford, yes. Iqbal. Iqbal, yes. Kenyon. Yes. Wunicki. Yes. Braz. Braz, yes. Caius. Caius, yes. Martin. Martin, yes. Reports are approved. Uh, Tom, your new business item. Oh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, we have a concern up in the uh, northern part of District 9 on uh, regards to an illegal uh, horse racing uh, venue. And uh, I just wanted to bring it to this committee's attention that um, that there has not been permits issued in regards to the horse racing event. And apparently there's there's gambling and bo bookies involved in the whole gambit. So um, uh, I, I, I was just curious uh, if we could if we could put a, put focus on that issue and uh, bring some resolve to the concerns of the constituents I mean, up there. Some... That's, that's all I ask. Thank you. Have you raised those considerations with the zoning enforcement office? I believe that some of the constituency has been in contact with that, and this is a new development. The, uh, it happened over the uh, holiday weekend. So I'm I'm a little bit uh, I'm a little bit um, caught off guard on this issue. So uh, I will follow up on it, and uh, it will be a concern for the uh, committee. I'm, I, I'm assuming. Well, it may never reach here uh, if it if it's raised with Mr. Van Kirkhoff in the enforcement division. That may be how it's handled. But uh, Mr. Van Kirkhoff, okay. do you have a comment? Yeah, thank you, Mr. Kopey. Uh, yeah, staff is aware of it, and uh, we're working with the King County Sheriff and the uh, state's attorney's office to address the uh, issues that that raises. Okay, good luck with that. Um, I would just wanted to, uh, to do my diligence on behalf of the constituents. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I have no information leading us toward an executive session. So I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Mr. Motion Kenyon moves. Ms. Second. Winicki seconds. All in favor of adjournment signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. <clears throat>